I just made the mistake of breathing in the chili. <laughs> Don't ever do that, anybody. Hello Sunshine and KitchenAid are serving up an appetizer for a fun project we're calling Eat the Book. In each episode, we're going to cook a meal inspired by one of Reese's book club picks. And today, we are cooking up an Indian dish inspired by my book, The Henna Artist. Are you ready to make it together? Let's get started. Hi, Sandy and Nikki. How are you guys doing? Hey, Alka. Hey, Alka. We're great. How are you? Well, I'm doing great, especially because I know we are cooking Indian food today. Tell us a little bit about what we're cooking. I thought it would be good to make vegetable pagodas today because that represents kind of the north of India and obviously the book is set in Rajasthan and it's colorful and it has lots of colorful vegetables in and it's not such a difficult dish to make I hope so mm -hmm. um, yeah we're gonna have fun with it those are great very popular foods in India who doesn't love fried food <laughs> <laughs> Oh, tell me a little bit about how you came up with the name Jivana. I love it because it means life, right? We came up with Jivana because uh, a lot of our customers say that the food brings them to life, it invigorates them, it energizes them. Uh, life means Jivan, so we put a little twang on it and we got Jivana. It's a wonderful, wonderful name. Tell us a little bit about the ingredients that we have in the dish. We're going to need chickpea flour. We're going to need a yellow onion, a red onion. We're going to use kale, um, a green bell pepper, a red bell pepper, whichever color that you have actually. Uh, we'll have some pink salt, we'll need some turmeric, we'll need some ginger, um, we'll need uh, some cilantro, and then we'll need um, some vegetable oil so we can kind of fry the pagodas once they're all beautifully mixed. So for the mint and mango chutney, which is with some cooling along with the pagoda. We need mint, a tall fry mangoes, uh, one yellow onion, chili, brown sugar, and lemon. Mm. Mm. Sounds good. So to get started, Alka, let's start with the mint and mango chutney. Have you got the mint? Yes. Perfect. Take a handful of the uh, mint, <coughs> drop it into the blender. Take some of the mangoes in the blender. All right, and then if you can take um, the yellow onion, and let's just go ahead and then uh, kind of peel it and then dice it in half, half the yellow onion in the blender as well. You've already ch finely chopped the chilies that you've got in the food processor, I can see. So if we take a little bit of those chilies, yeah, we like a lot of chili, so we're gonna use a tablespoon. But it depends on whether you like a lot of chili. I don't use a lot of chili, but I'll tell you something. My husband is, you know, American, and my family first met him. My mother prepared this entire Indian feast. My husband sat there, and he ate every single bite of every single food. So by the end of the meal, we started calling him Rajiv. So <laughs> his name is Brad, but now he's the honorary Rajiv in the family. Okay, now should I should I blend all of this stuff now? Or yep. And you can use, you know, I prefer to use a, a very good blender because the, the better the blender, the finer the kind of chutney uh, sauce will be. So let's blend. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that is a powerful blender. <laughs> yeah, How's it looking? Oh, it looks fantastic. This is delicious. I just tasted it. Look at how creamy it is. Oh, the color, it's such an amazing color. Yeah. But with the chutney alka, let's go ahead and put it in a small bowl and then let's put it in the refrigerator. Okay. In the henna artist, I have two sisters. It's a very intense relationship between these two sisters because they didn't grow up together. These sisters are having some challenges working together. But now you guys are sisters and you're working in a business together. So what is that like? Well, the challenges are kept behind closed doors. <laughs> Best friend. <laughs> We're super close. We kind of got fed up together with the corporate world in England. So we thought, you know what? Let's go into business together. We've had our challenges, 
We basically fight, get it out of the way, get yeah. it done, and then move forward. Family business is tough though, and then immigrating to a new country and all of that jazz, but we work through those moments. Exactly. Partnering crime. Tell us about where you got your inspiration from the book. My mother uh, was 18 when her father arranged her marriage to my father. I just don't think she ever had a chance to make any of the life decisions that I have gotten to make and that you have gotten to make. She said, whatever you want to do, honey, you just do it. I just was always artistic. So this is a reimagining of a life she couldn't have imagined, but that I could imagine for her. Yeah, you got so much beautiful detail in the book and it just flies off the pages. I love it and yeah. I think it's amazing. Okay, so should we start the Bogada mix now? Please. Go ahead and drop the kale, slice up the onion, and we'll slice up the bell peppers. However you want to chop it is, is all good. So we've got all the vegetables in a bowl right now. So if we take half a lemon, squeeze that into the vegetables to give the mixture a little bit of acid, and then try not to get the pips in like I have. But. <laughs> <laughs> Let's now get over to our herbs and spices. So if we use one tablespoon of the turmeric and then pour that into the bowl. Another tablespoon for the pink salt. Yes, I love pink salt. So once we put the uh, turmeric and the pink salt, let's go ahead and take our ginger. Did you chop the uh, ginger beforehand? I did. Wonderful. How much ginger am I putting in? So I um, put two tablespoons. Okay, good. And then if we get a tablespoon of the chili. Let's go ahead and put two cups of chickpea flour in. Okay. If you can't get access to chickpea flour, corn flour is good. Okay, so now I'm mixing the chickpea flour right in here. Yeah, so we've got everything in the bowl, and now we're gonna mix. I like this because it saves actually a step. It feels like, hey, I can put everything in one bowl. It's like a one bowl pakora recipe. <laughs> Before we got our hands dirty, we should have put the cooker on. So if you turn it on high, then that oil can kind of get heated up whilst we stir up our mixture. Okay, now warning to everybody out there, because we've got onions and we've got chilies and everything, your nose might start running a little bit. <laughs> we can either use our hands to kind of grab just small parcel shapes, or you can use a fork. I'm just gonna use my hands the same way my mother did. Perfect. Okay, well, the oil's getting slightly hot right now, so... Oh my goodness, it's sizzling! Woohoo! Do you have a pair of tongs? I have one of these, so this is what I'm going to use to take them out. Yeah, that works. Oh my gosh, you guys! I love the sizzle and pop. The smaller and a kind of a cup size it is, the easier it will be to fry. So if you do bigger portions, some of the vegetables are going to remain raw and it'll get cooked on the outside quicker. Oh, wow, you guys, this is really wonderful. This is gonna be delicious. And as soon as they're kind of slightly golden brown on each side, you can take them out. Okay, I'm gonna start taking some of these out, okay? Okay. Look at this one, it looks almost like a french fry. It's light, it's brown, it's crusty. Mm. Oh, brilliant, okay. I just love all the sizzle and pot. <laughs> and then Alfie, if you kind of put about four or five in there, it kind of helps with all of them not, not sticking together. Yeah, they're not sticking together, they're fine. Perfect. So you guys, these are looking delicious. So I show you, here is my mother's karai. Amazing. So if we grab a plate, and then what we can start doing and putting the chutney on the plate as well. And then we can put a few of the pagodas with the chutney and then voila. I want to show you my plate, you guys. Yeah, I can. It looks amazing. So here's my plate and here is the mango mint chutney. Yes. Oh my God, Brad is going to be so excited. <laughs> oh, that is so delicious. And it's not like super fried. It's not like super, you know, battered or anything like that. Food makes such a difference and brings so much joy to so many people. And it just makes you fall in love with that culture when you love the food, right? <laughs> Indian food influences people, family, love, all of the, the free things in life that we take for granted. That's 
hopefully something that we infuse in the message and in our food that people take home with them. And the henna artist also is using food to bring people together, to help them realize their desires. And there's so much richness in Indian food that actually helps make some things happen in your life. Thank you so much, ladies. <laughs> thanks, Elka. All right. Thank Bye. You. Hey, thanks so much for watching us make it together. These pakoras and chutney turned out absolutely delicious, and we're so glad that you could join us. Bye for now.